Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So a lot of people have a mental image or a concept in regards to how powerful jinns are. And one of the best surahs that answers this question uh, quite eloquently uh, is Surah Al-Safat, which is the surah right after Surah Yasin. And uh, in the very beginning, and you can open up the Qur'an yourself, I'm just going to go over some of the verses of the Qur'an. In zayyanna sama'a dunya bi zinatinil kawakib. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We made this as sama'a dunya, meaning this whole universe as we know it is as sama'a dunya bi zinatinil kawakib, with the beauty, with the glitter of the stars, right? So this is all zinatun kawakib, this whole universe. It's a protection against the shaytan that keeps returning. You know about how they go to the sky and they try to listen to the angels and then something follows them. Anyway, there's different interpretations of what that means. Does it mean the shooting star or meteoroids or something that we can't see? Uh, some other electrical, uh, you can say, solar pulses or whatever it is, but something happens that pushes the shayateen back, right? Uh, Except for the one who takes away something of whatever he takes, right? Just a little piece of the of the conversations of the angels, right? Uh, then Allah says. Uh, and then when he does that, you know, there's like a heat seeker missile, like that just uh, goes after him, right? Um, Allah then says, ask these shayati, you want to know about this? Ask them, ask them. Ahum ashaddu khalpan, are you a stronger creation? Amman khalaqna, or the one that we created. Who is Allah referring to? The one we created. Indeed, we created them in tinin lazim. We created them from like uh, uh, like watered uh, dust. I meaning, you know, uh, you can say a puddle with dust or puddle of uh, mud, right? Watered mud. Uh, so it's referring to the human beings. Uh, and you know, if you remember the other ayah where Allah says, "Antum ashadu khalqan anis sama," are you a stronger creation or the sky, which is harder to create, which is which is a stronger creation, which which one is uh, more complex, more stronger? So over here, "Antum fastaftihim," ask them. "Antum ashadu khalqan amman khalqna." Are you a stronger creation or the one we created? Now, I just want you to understand, you know, from also the sayings of the Prophet ﷺ, but before I go into them, one piece of logic that can also help bring all this together. If the shayateen were so strong, they would physically take over human being and the human world. They wouldn't have to stay hidden. Meaning the reason that they are hidden and the reason Allah has allowed them to be hidden is Allah, you know, keeps everything in balance. Allah has hidden the shayateen because they're not that strong, physically speaking. I'm going to talk about what their strength is. But you know also the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, in which the Prophet says ﷺ, that when you go to sleep at near the Fajr time or the, the Hajjud time, depending upon the interpretation of the hadith, when the shaytan comes and puts knots in your ears and he pees in your ears, how big can he be if he's peeing in your ear? Right? The Prophet ﷺ, when he talks about straightening the rows of the prayers, he says, straighten your rows. Right? Don't make it crooked because the shayateen, they walk through your lines. How big can they be? They're not that big. From all of the collections of hadith, when you look at it, right, they're not that big. And so the shayateen are not that big. They're not, you know, the Prophet has talked about how, you know, the shayateen, they... Um, this is not to say they can't manifest themselves as something big. But as an entity themselves, they're not... Maybe big is not the word that I'm trying to use. The word I'm trying to use is strong. They're not strong as such. Right? Intrinsically, they're not strong. If they were strong, they would be able to physically do a lot of things that we don't see them do. They don't have the strength to do that. Um, but what is their strength? Their strength is 
you was whistle whistle do in nas they're able to whisper give what in hypnotism we call suggestions right they're able to suggest things they're able to give suggestions to your subconscious they're able to talk to your brain you know throw ideas to your brain they're like you could say an energy form of wave like being and they have somehow a connection with the human they can enter ideas into the human brain suggestions into the human brain and this is why in many of the sayings of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you'll see that and you'll notice that the prophet talks about the shaitan entering through the nose you know the nose especially where the shaitan sits or the ears where the prophet is mentioned right um these are all places where he's trying to affect the mind of the person those people who have experienced from the ruqya will also tell you that this is one of the major places that if you read quran in the head has the most uh, effect uh, in terms of ruqya i'm not going to go into the ruqya aspect of things right now but i just wanted to answer the very basic question of how strong the shayateen are the shayateen they are weak if your insides are strong and they are strong if your if your inside is weak meaning the weaker you are the more susceptible you are to suggestion they say something and you don't even realize it they're talking to you and you start thinking that you're talking to yourself and it's when they are talking to you they say oh no you have time for prayers oh you know whatever it is you you your own will your own will power is not that strong and so what they're feeding into you becomes strong and this is extremely extremely important and then one thing about quran you know quran always teaches us to remove the harm first and then bring in the good and so we say a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim do away with shaytan and the power of quran is the wave the sound wave of quran this is why we talk about brain waves and them being like a wave like entity because they can affect the brain which is basically a type of wave type energy and the quran is waves so they get affected by the quran and they affect the waves of the brain in fact epilepsy has been in the you know the scholars that study this know that this is also affected by the shayateen and so shayateen are not very powerful but if your iman is weak they're powerful to control you to create fear to create sadness to create depression right to cause you to do things you normally wouldn't do to fight with your spouse so on and so forth they're able to do this why why do they have this power you was we so feel so good in us because they don't have physical power they're not able they have their techniques are all based upon in the shape on it in the case the shape on is our ether their plotting and planning is weak as Allah says the plotting and planning of shaitan is weak because they're not physically able to do things to you as such remember there are some exceptions which I'm not going into but for the majority of the majority for the majority of it shaitan are very very small also just in this very uh, point uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah jinn mentions the jinns that had come to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the jinn about something very interesting about them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about uh um about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that they had uh wa annahu lamma qama abdullah and in and when the abdullah meaning the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was praying or when he was standing yad'uhu kana yakunu alayhi libida when they were listening to him read the rahman right they were all over him they were all around him meaning so many thousands and if you read the hadith of ibn mas'ud radiyallahu anhu you know he talks about how the prophet had made the circle and told him stay in the circle also when all those jinns from all over these places had come to meet the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam right and and Ibn Mas'ud describes it some of these were very 
uh, horrifying. Even the Prophet, when he made the circle for Ibn Mas'ud, told him to stay there. You know, he had told him that don't leave this because you might get hurt. Something might hurt you. So, but the point is, so many came around the Prophet them, right? Like, so they can be compressed. You can say they're not very big. They're not very strong as such, and the Quranic waves affect them. The Quran affects them. So when they listen to Surah Rahman or some ayat of Ruqya, depending upon their intentions and their own mindset, it affects them. So, فَاسْتَفْتِهِمْ Ask them, أَهُمْ أَشَدُّ خَلْقًا Are they a more strong creation? أَمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا Or the one that we created, the human being. إِنَّا خَلَقْنَاهُ مِنْ طِينِ اللَّازِمِ Indeed, we have created him from a muddy, wet substance. Sticky. لَازِمْ طِينِ اللَّازِمِ Sticky. You know, anyway, I just wanted to share this with you so that, you know, because the jinns and the shayateen want us to think that they're so big and so powerful and jinns are so big and so powerful. No. The reality is the majority of them are very weak. And the majority of the ones that are affecting people are very, very weak. And, uh, you know, they, they wait till you're asleep, then they attack you, like mentioned in the hadith. Or other times where you're vulnerable, they'll attack you more, right? But they don't attack you physically because they don't have the strength, which is what Allah is referring to. فَاسْتَفْتِهِمْ Ask them, right? Meaning Allah is telling you, you should have confidence. You don't have to be fearful of them, right? فَاسْتَفْتِهِمْ أَهُمْ أَشَدُّ خَلْقًا You know, you are Allah's أَشْرُفَ you الْمَخْلُقَاتِ You should ask them, don't be jealous. Which one of us is stronger? You know, the one who's made from sticky clay? Or the one who's made from fire. Which one is stronger? Right? Ashaddu khalqan. So, which one is ashaddu khalqan? Is the human being. Fastaftihim ahum ashaddu khalqan. Amman khalaqna. And over here in this ayah, Allah, the one we created. And then Allah explains what we mean by we created. Meaning my masterpiece. Do you think you're a bigger, better creation? Or the one I created, my masterpiece, the human being. How can the jinn be better, the stronger, right? So one of the things that Shaytan wants to do is bring himself up, bring the, in disgrace the human being, right? And we accept these concepts because all cultures have concepts of, you know, the demon, the werewolf, the vampire, the UFO, you know, whatever it is, we have these concepts of these alien beings being so strong so just something to think about that you know we should be careful that you know in Pakistan they have the, also the idea of the chure, right this human being with uh, foot pointed towards the other way uh, but anyway the point is that uh, all of these entities if you have iman they can't affect you if you believe in Allah they can't affect you they're very physically weak and you can protect yourself from their suggestions. If you read Quran, do dhikr of Allah, follow the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, live in the lifestyle of, of Islam, you can block those attacks they have on you. But at the same time, you know, you're physically stronger. You're physically, you're stronger. Okay? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.